to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my salmon and spinach rosti bake. It's almost like a lasagna, kind of same method that goes into making it, but obviously with salmon and potatoes and spinach instead. It's really, really easy. You use one pan and then you use one like oven dish and that's it and you're done. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. But we're going to jump straight on into this recipe. So the ingredients you're going to need for this meal are some salmon, some spinach, an onion, some garlic, creme fraiche, potatoes, and a vegetable stock cube. Right, so the first thing you want to do is pop some oil into a pan, get your pan nice and hot, and put in your garlic and your onion. You want to chop your onion up really, really finely, and then pop it into your pan and fry it off, saute it off. Um, and then what you want to do with your garlic is just get a garlic crusher and mince it into your pan. I'm using three cloves of garlic, but that's because I just think garlic makes everything taste amazing. Right, so essentially what you're making here is your white sauce. So what you're going to add into here is 200 mils of vegetable stock, and then you're also going to use half of this creme fraiche. This is a 600 mil tub, so I'm going to be using half of that, so 300 mil, and it's just going to make like a really nice white sauce for your kind of rosti to be baked in. So while those are sauteing, what you want to do is get your potatoes. I've got three extra large potatoes here and you want to really finely slice them so you end up with something looking like this. So you can almost kind of, they're a bit translucent, almost see through them. That way you're gonna make sure they cook through really, really nicely when they're in the oven. Right, once those are sauteed off for a couple of minutes, you want to turn your heat down and then you want to add in your creme fraiche and your vegetable stock. If you want to, you can use cream for this, you can use some soft cheese. It's really, really versatile. I just really like using creme fraiche. Right, while that's kind of simmering away, you want to add a nice pinch of salt and some pepper as well to this. So you then want to get your salmon. So I always buy a half side of salmon. It works out so much cheaper. I cut it in half or I cut it into pieces as well and I freeze them. What I've done here is just cut my salmon in half and I'll put the other half away in the fridge for another meal that I'm going to make. So this is what I am left with. So what I want to do now is just pop my salmon on the top of my mixture here and it's just gonna poach my salmon. That way it's gonna make the skin really easy to take off as well. So I'll just place it skin down and just almost poach it in my creme fraiche mix. After your fish has been in there for a couple of minutes skin down, you want to flip it over and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to remove the skin. Right, so you just want to carry on poaching your fish and then if you get your spinach, and what I like to do is just get handfuls at a time and just break my spinach like that and pop it into my pan. So I'm always quite generous with my spinach because it just wilts down to absolutely nothing. So don't be shy when it comes to that as that is quite a key ingredient in this dish. So after about another five, 10 minutes, the salmon will just start to break up really easily where it's been cooked through. So just wanna flake the salmon into your liquid mixture and then you're ready to construct your rosti. This is all ready and because you've cooked your salmon in here, it's gonna give the mixture such a lovely flavor. That's delicious. It's now ready to construct. Okay, so what you want to do is just create layers like you would for a lasagna. So I always start with a layer of this first because otherwise you'll find your potatoes will stick to the base of your dish. So you just go salmon mix, potato layer, salmon mix, potato layer, and so on and so on until you run out. Okay, so that's your layers done. So what I'm now going to do is get some cheese and just sprinkle it over the top. And lastly, get a potato and grate it. And then you're gonna sprinkle these all over the top of your rosti and that's gonna give it a really nice crispy crunch once it's been cooked. So just get your grated potato and just pop it on like you would your cheese. This is gonna go really, really lovely and crispy. So once it's done, you want to pop it into the oven on about 190 degrees centigrade for about 35 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. 